Hey, hey, happy day. I'm going to talk about socialism, stupidism in Canada. That's the topic here today, and I've only got one topic. And you know what? Socialists, they're kind of like people who, I don't know, they, they have a rope in their hand, and they don't know if they found the rope or lost a horse. In other words, they ain't very bright, and they do things maybe with good intentions. I don't know. It's all about activity, and there's very little achievement. And I'm talking about investing your money. I think the socialists got together years ago, the left wing wax, and said, hey, guys, a little old lady in Toronto some or somewhere lost money so we got to protect everybody from themselves because that's our job because we're smarter than the population than the citizenry that is how they think and that is really what they believe so the paperwork started many years ago it got to be thick and thicker and thicker and I got to tell you it came down finally to an accredited investor you can't invest money unless you are accredited because you might lose your money and and to be an accredited investor is quite a deal I'll get to that in a minute but but you socialists you people, not the politicians, you all need to revolt because you've been hurt. You think you've been helped, but you have not. You've been hurt by your own people because they think they're helping you and they're clueless. <laughs> what it is, I remember back in the day with the marijuana stocks, uh, so many little people said, I want to buy cab drivers and people. They weren't really rich people, but they wanted to be rich. They had ambition. They put their money up and the stockbroker community said, you can't. You already have to be rich or you can't invest in a private placement. You can buy in the market. So the rich people will buy from the private placement. You poor people can buy from them. They get richer and you take a chance. Okay, but that's what happens all the time. If you have money, the reason I bumped into a woman is $12,000. She can't invest it anywhere because she's not a sophisticated slash accredited investor. And nobody in Canada will take her money because you have to know your client. And she says, I got bad credit, I got this, I got that bad, but I want to make money and I now have $12,000, I've worked so hard, I've saved it up, what can I do? I have to go to the bank and get a half of 1%. This is bizarre, but I want to take a shot. I want to work, I, and she can't. And a credit investor is entitled to the privilege access regarding their income, net worth, asset side, governance, status, or professional experience, right? <laughs> I mean, to do a private placement, as I've already said, I mean, they, they perceive that, they be in the commies, perceive that as being risk. Regulatory authorities determine if you possess the financial means and knowledge and brain power to take a risk involved in any type of investing. Credit investors also have privileged access to venture capital, angel investments, and deals, good deals, okay? But you've got to already be rich to take advantage of that good deal. It's wrong. It's just totally wrong. The definition of a, a credit investor is a person must have income exceeding $200,000 a year for the last three years. The income test cannot be satisfied by showing just one year. You have to show it for, I, I said three, it actually says two here. And you have to have a net worth exceeding $1 million. <laughs> and if you're a company, you have to have a, a net worth or assets rather exceeding $5 million. Um, <clears throat> wow. Wow, so the rich get richer and the poor get dumber. I mean, and, and they carry more signs that say, you know, they're down with the rich. The rich don't pay taxes and the rich do. And it's an amazing thing to me. So the socialists have, have screwed up. <laughs> they really have. Because they too want to have a double car garage with a car to put in to the garage on each side. But they can't make money because they're protected from doing that. And that's morally incorrect that's corrupt right i mean you you shouldn't have that ability to tell somebody that he can or cannot invest money you can't go to um any type of of i don't know mortgage company or you can't buy a mortgage you can't do anything because you're too stupid the government believes you're stupid what do you think about that if you're not worth a million dollars plus and a lot of you guys aren't socialists a lot of you are right wing guys but you can't get in on all these deals is it not your right to lose your money I think it is. Is it not your right to take the opportunity or the risk to make money? I think it is. I mean, should these people be scolded and smacked and, and should laws be changed? Of course. Get a mad on that. Hey, see ya.